Imagine this water flow. If we look at this location, L1 liters of water coming towards this point and L2 liters of water flowing away from it. Since we know that the incoming water is equal to the outgoing water, we can say that L1 equals L2. Algebraically, L1 equals L2 can be written as L1 minus L2 is equal to zero. See this analogy. In this water flow, water comes from one source and is split into two ways. Let L1 be the incoming flow and L2 and L3 are the outgoing flow. Algebraically, L1 equals L2 plus L3. This can be written as L1 minus L2 minus L3 equals zero. That is, the algebraic sum is zero. In this analogy, let L1 and L2 be incoming flows and L3 is outgoing flow. Algebraically, L1 plus L2 gives L3. This can be written as L1 plus L2 minus L3 equals zero. The definition of Kirchhoff's law follows the same analogy. To better understand this theory, you need to know the term node. A node is a junction where two or more circuit elements are connected together. In this node, all incoming currents are considered as positive and outgoing currents as negative. Kirchhoff's law is based on conservation of current and conservation of energy. Kirchhoff's current law states that the algebraic sum of currents meeting at a junction or node in an electric circuit is zero. That is, current entering is equal to current leaving. This network illustrates Kirchhoff's current law. This network has four nodes. At node 1, KCL can be written as I1 is equal to I2 plus I3. At node 2, KCL can be written as I4 is equal to I5 plus I6.